Hey guys, Fings here. This is gonna be a quick update video. First of all, this is not clickbait, and Dragon Ball Super is really gonna end in late March of this year. Before we get into it, I'll be making more Dragon Ball Super update videos pretty soon and tell you what is to be expected from the future of the franchise and way more other content. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified and stay up to date with what's going on. Like always, the new spoilers for the upcoming episodes have been coming out, but along with it, I say around a couple hours ago, this information of Dragon Ball Super ended up spreading like wildfire. We did expect the Universal Survival arc to end pretty soon, which was true, but apparently it was the final arc of Dragon Ball Super and episode 131, which is going to be the last episode of the arc, as well as the last episode of Dragon Ball Super. So March 25th is the day that the last Dragon Ball Super episode is going to air. And so from April 1st, and yes, this is not April Fools, the Dragon Ball Super time slot is being taken by another anime, Gegege no Kitaro, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, which will be returning for its 50th anniversary. It's old school. It already has a trailer out. I'll be making a video on this anime, which is replacing Dragon Ball Super, breaking it down from the trailer and beyond. And since you've already hit the subscribe button, you'll be notified. Both Toei Animation and Fuji TV haven't really said anything on what is to be expected from the franchise in the future. But we have some proper confirmation. Since the information that the broadcast of Dragon Ball Super TV ends in spring or March has already been publicized, Tsutomu Ona, who is the animation supervisor of Dragon Ball Super, tweeted out, I just found out yesterday that episode 126 would be my last job as an animation supervisor. He followed by stating, Dragon Ball will live forever. Every fan of Dragon Ball is hot. I am pleased to have been involved with it. I think the world of Dragon Ball will be expanded through games, manga and anime. So let's look forward to them. And as for where this franchise is headed, this is clearly not the end. My opinion on this matter is Dragon Ball Super was originally made for merchandise sale and basically as a money pit. So they have no reason to stop this anime. This might just end up being a hiatus to let the manga catch up and Dragon Ball Super manga will be going on as usual and will end up surpassing the anime. And that's not all. On March 22nd, Toei Animation is going to announce the new Dragon Ball movie which will be airing in December of this year most probably. And also the new Dragon Ball Fighters game coming out this month which currently has a beta version released and also Goku being the ambassador of 2020 Olympics of course. I don't think that they're going to let this franchise die out so easily. So clearly this is not the end of the franchise or the TV anime. Dragon Ball Super has way more universes which are not yet shown and way way more. So I don't think this is going to be the end. But rather just a hiatus to let the manga catch up and to also promote the other content of the franchise. The anime TV series might and most probably will return pretty soon as Dragon Ball Super or with another name following Dragon Ball. And like I said at the start of the video. I have way more Dragon Ball Super content and other various content coming out and you'd want to be notified of them. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get those hot hot notifications wherever you are at. And drop a like if you like the video and comment down below what you think is gonna happen concerning the TV anime. Also watch my previous video where I give all the Weeboos a lesson on how you can get your waifu. Or you can also watch my review or reaction on Pop Team Epic The God of All Anime. So that's all I got for today. Until next time, adios, Marys.